Very cool. You can see uh, building his own parts, so to speak, with the BioDapt. And uh, he's definitely always forward thinking. And speaking of forward thinking, it's time to get to it. 10 laps of racing, Chris. This course has uh, been tough for everybody. It's a little bit hard to pass, but there are some tricky sections as well. Yep. Yesterday, uh, it was really flat like conditions. So this is actually the first day that the athletes have got to see the course with blue skies. And here's that right turn we talked about. We'll see who comes out of it first. Backer with a good run, it looked like. Looked like Jeff Tweet on the 177 on the black sled. He got a good start as well. Here's Backer charging on the inside, though. The number 11, Paul Backer. There on the green and black sled over the big jump. Mike Schultz making a move to second, it looks like. Battling with Tweet. Looks like that outside line was a long way around. Tweet got around him. Tweet going on the inside. Backer's got a good line coming up the uphill. Jeff Tweet having some issues with his neck, having a, a bad night of sleep, believe it or not, two nights ago. Had to get worked on to uh, try to loosen up. And he said this morning when we were talking to him, Chris, that he felt great right now. I'd have to agree that he's looking great. Yeah, I promise you he's not thinking about that tweak neck right now. But look behind him, Mike Schultz coming in hard. He's going to take that inside the shorter way around the course. The black and red, the number five, that is Mike Schultz, five-time gold medalist. And behind him, though, the competition we had talked about, Garrett Goodwin, a one-time gold medalist. He also has a silver and a bronze. He is sitting in that bronze position as it looks like we're going to have a pass for the lead. And Schultz goes around the outside, and he will take that top position. Lap four of ten. Now at lap five, some sweet air time. And the, the shadows have moved in a little bit, Chris. Is that going to make it a little bit harder for them to see the course? Or is it better under the bright conditions? With how challenging it was yesterday, I mean, this is clear vision for these guys. It was so great. They were actually having to add blue dye onto the course. So today, they're doing really well with the vision. A battle for second place. Garrett Goodwin, you can see it with the frame cage above him. As Schultz continues to lead, but Goodwin going around the outside, 24 years of age from Illinois. And it looks like he's going to make the pass on Tweet Stick. And this is what I was talking about. Garrett is so hard charging in those corners. Even taking the longer way around, he's got that set set up really well to rail those corners. Schultz going around the outside Whoa, of the turn. Having to put a lot of English on that, giving a big pull. But right now, a clear and definite lead. But it is good one. Again, these two riders are the last two gold medalists. Schultz one year ago in 16, good one two years ago in 15, and they haven't seen them each other head to head in the X Games over those couple years. You know, Tim, the, what we talk about is the different levels of disabilities. You can see how Mike can actually soak up or scrub some of the faces of the jumps. And, and just like right there, being able to almost counter steer the sled to get it up to rotate around that corner. With Goodwin only being paralyzed from the waist down, he's not able to be able to soak up those jumps and, and really might be able to stay lower on the jumps, much like a motocross or wood on at Supercross. Here's a good looking Goodwin. Final lap. Getting ready for the checkered flag as Schultz. Looking smooth again, and he had to do some passing, so that sets up good racing for the snow cross as well. Um, passing is available. They've done some work on this track, and the white flag comes out. One lap to go. Yeah, Mike didn't get the start he wanted, but he just stayed calm, collected, worked his way through the pack. I don't see any way at this point for unless Schultz makes a major mistake, and when there's lappers, anything's possible, but this is one last turn for the number five, and the glory, the checkers, the X Games gold to Mike Schultz once again. Six X Games gold medals for Mike Schultz. He really is a monster when it comes to snowcross adapting. Absolutely, number five, across and victorious once again. Goodwin will come across second. And the battle that we talked about came to be true, but it wasn't uh, that close of a battle in the end. But Garrett Goodwin with a big run. He was right there in contention. And Jeff Tweet, a great run as well. His second 
Snowcross Adapted Medal. He has a silver uh, for previous events. And there's a good look at Mike Schultz. Let's take a quick look at how it went down. This is Tweet leading and Schultz going for the pass. Wow, look at that. Mike just coming around the outside. Jeff saying, whoa, where'd you come from? Good start for Jeff, but Mike just was too strong. And here we go over the big jump. Schultz with great style and form brings it home once again here at the Snowcross Adaptive. The checkers for the winner, and that's a magic moment, isn't it? See it being the first one across the checkers. Yeah, no matter how many times you, you finish first, you, you know, Mike put a lot of hard work into this. He was on a new sled this year and put a lot of time and effort into his program, and it shows. So let's take a look once again at the results, the medal board, if you will. We know it will be Schultz with the gold. And as we talked about it, Garrett Goodwin will be silver. Bronze for Jeff Tweet, your medal lineup. And speaking of lining them up, Victoria Arlen is down there with Mike Schultz. I'm sure it's an exciting moment. Victoria, how's it looking down there? It is looking awesome. You just won your sixth gold medal here at X Games Aspen. What does this mean to you? Oh, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Um... Yeah, track is uh, definitely smaller than we're used to out here. I knew the, the whole shot was going to be a little dicey, so I just played a little extra safe to make sure we all got through there clean. And uh, yeah, I battled with these guys for a few laps. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Just got to give a huge shout out to my company, BioDap Fox, and uh, VTuff Jeans, Wiggle Your Toes, Pelican Cases, and everybody else. Straight Line Performance for getting me around the track good. Awesome, guys. So much better to do with some sponsor support. And Mike Schultz is stoked, bringing hold the, home the gold once again. Chris, good action. I'm looking forward to more from all of the X Games here in Aspen. So 